What is going on guys? This is Jerry here and today I have a very special gameplay for you guys. I know this is on Nuketown and you know everyone's seen total rapage on this map, but uh I I'm gonna show you guys or I'm gonna explain to you guys why I think this map is very uh special. And you know, when you, when Nuketown comes up on the upcoming map or the next map, usually people are like, Oh man, we're gonna, you know, get our dogs, we're gonna get our chopper gunner, we're gonna totally go to town and get like a hundred plus kills. But that's not how I think. I think uh, when, whenever I see Nuketown, I, I like to take the opportunity to put on low kill streaks like the Napalm or Mortar Strike, and that's what exactly what I did in this gameplay. I, I, I like to do that so that I can, you know, get to use the g gun more, um, so to so to say, like, uh, you know, because when you, you use low kill streaks, usually you tend to focus more on the, your gun kills. At least that's how I think. And uh, that, that's exactly what I did in this gameplay. I uh, <laughs> pretty much go to town with the commando here. And, you know, I, I want to tell you guys why this gameplay is very special to me. It's, it's it, although it may not mean that much to you guys, um, I pretty much get like a 39 kill streak with, with my gun only. And uh, I, I really, I, I was just kind of amazed to be honest because, you know, back when I started playing Call of Duty back in March 2010, uh, about a year and a half ago, I, uh, I I was really bad at the game. Like um, I pretty much you know set out to get better, to better myself. And I know I'm kind of taking this too seriously because it's just a video game. <laughs> but uh, that's what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to get good. Like um, because that was that was back when I was watching you know C Nanners and Hutch and stuff like that. And I was like, wow, I want to be that good one day. And I, I think. Uh, I finally accomplished that, or at least I've gotten very close, because um, what you're about to see is just total, you know, uh, Sandy Ravage mode. Not not trying to be like a fanboy or anything, but I, I think this is it was just awesome. I was just surprised because I, you know, w the whole time I was playing this, I didn't even notice that I was going to town. I didn't even know that I was getting 39 kills straight. Um, but it, it was just awesome to see because when you get, you know. Uh, into this state where you, you have the adrenaline rush to keep you going and you're just killing left and right you really you're I don't know it just seems like there's no one that can stop you um, and I believe this is a streak where I go on a 39 kill but <laughs> it was just pretty awesome the napalm and mortar strike only gave me like I'd say 10 total kills so uh, the final score is 74 and 9 I know I die a lot but and this gameplay started off really slow. I believe I got like three kills before I even got this streak. Um, but the gameplay kind of slows down at the end. But the right here, the 39 kill streak is just really what I wanted to show you guys because uh, usually, you know, people are like, "Wow, Nuketown, Chopper Gunner, Rape Fest." But when I when I see Nuketown, I'm like, "Damn, gunfight! Come on, action! Let's go!" And uh, I I you know I've I've got to say, I've developed my skills over just watching YouTube videos, and uh, I think I've done a pretty good, pretty good job at it. Um, I think this is pretty uh, Sandy Ravage-like. You know, on Nuketown, there's only like three different type of players out there. There's the campers, and then there's the objective players, and then there's God. I lied, there's four. There's God, and then there's Sandy Ravage, and uh, this is none of that. <laughs> um, but this is this is just my own uh, level right here that I'm showing um, and I know it's not very impressive because you guys I'm pretty sure most of you guys have probably seen better but uh, I just want to show you guys what I can really do and uh, what you know what anyone can accomplish from having host advantage and a good connection and you know pretty much just a, a pretty balanced team you know, this gameplay right here is just one of those days where you just go on a total rape fest and uh, it's just one of those games where you're just feeling like you know where everybody is even though I have like SR-71 going up half the time. But <laughs> this gameplay, I, I gotta admit, you know, I gotta agree with some of you guys. This is, it, it isn't as special because this is Nuketown and Nuketown is like easy mode. But um, you really can't show what you can do unless you play on a small map. I mean... This is the 74 kill here is like the equivalent to like a 50 kill on you know a bigger map. So I wouldn't hold it against you guys if you guys aren't really impressed. But uh, I'm not trying to brag so much. So let's go on to a different topic. 
this is just like a really good gameplay for me um, so yeah what what I want to kind of like get started with you guys is uh, I want to I want to ask you guys a question uh, basically um, I want to know what you guys want to do before you guys die and I know this may come off kind of strange but uh, I've watched a commentary late uh, later or earlier this week and uh, the subject was you know what do you want to do before you die and it's got me thinking because in the last two months um, I haven't told anyone or anyone here yet but um, in my in my one of my earlier videos I told you guys that my cousin passed away and then um, like exactly a month after that uh, his mother passed away and uh, I, I you know it just got me thinking wow you know life could be so short and at the same time you you can still accomplish so much while you do it or while you're living in it and uh, <laughs> it's just kind of strange to me that this video you know with the topic what would you like to do before you die uh, it was just kind of strange that it popped up um, as everything was going on in my life and so it's got me thinking you know what would you guys like to do before you die I mean would you guys, would you like to go skydiving <laughs> I'll probably get you killed uh, would, would you like to you know I don't know anything would you like to do anything illegal like uh, TP someone's house I don't know if that's illegal but um but yeah I just kinda wanna share you, with you guys what I wanna do before you know life life gets cut and uh, basically what I want to do is um, I want to be successful um, in life and I, kn I know that's like everyone's main goal in life or m at least I would hope it's most of you guys' hope uh, for life but um, to be more specific you know I want to be able to buy my parents a house and I know that's, some of you guys are like wow that's so cheesy and some of you guys are like wow that's so nice of you but <laughs> but I really want to be able to get my parents a house um, because you know uh, this is a usual lecture they did raise me and uh, they did give me a pretty good life I, I gotta admit I have it easy in life and, you know growing up I got you know uh, all these cousins and uh, all these family members to look out for me and then uh, every, as we all grow up you know we're all living the average teenage life or the average life in general and uh, I just really it, it just got me thinking you know like wow if, if my parents worked so hard to kind of get me where I am today uh, the least I could do is get them a house because uh, if you guys don't know I am a lower class family and uh, it's really hard to get houses um, to get a house and uh, especially if your dad is like the only one working in your family and uh, he works minimum wage to raise like to to hope to or s support a family of like seven um, but yeah that's pretty much what I want to do I just want to be able to help my parents out return them the, um, the favor that they've done for me and then um, after that I want to I don't know I guess I want a career in doing uh, something I love like video games or you know anything like that um, that involves electronics but uh, this game is wrapping up I hope you guys enjoy it I know it's kind of like a slow rant uh, slow commentary but this today is kind of like a chill day so I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys didn't mind and uh, once again this is me Jibber and I'll see you guys later